my channel or welcome if you are new. I have decided to pick up the camera and spend in a couple of days with you guys because as we always do over here we're going to have some chill, cosy, slow paced cuteness and I've been looking at some autumn wreaths so and I'm going out some homeware shop and I'm going to go to Costco and I'm also going to go to HomeSense potentially because we know I love it. So over the next couple of days, I thought I'm just gonna take you along and we're gonna have the best time talking about interiors, finding interiors, just doing the things that we love to do over in this little corner of the internet. So I am really excited. And also talking about coziness, I have just, so I bought this book going back a couple of weeks ago, The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. And I just thought, oh, I'm gonna leave that until autumn. And then when I was having a little look, the author, Laura Gilmore, has also released the second one in the book, which has just literally been released today. And I had ordered it off Amazon. I'll leave these linked below if you're also looking for a little bit of a um, autumnal read. I just feel, the reason I didn't read it yet is I thought, oh, I need it to be when the leaves are falling off the trees and it's all cute. So the first one's called the, Pe the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, and then the second one's the, the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. What I've seen so far, it's like a little village, and there's a couple of shops. I don't know if they're in a row, but I think they're all connected, so the stories are sort of interlinked. This one is about Jeannie's aunt had left her beloved Pumpkin Spice Cafe in a small town of Dream Harbor. Jeannie jumps to the chance to freshen it up away from a very dull desk job. And Logan, the local farmer, who avoids Dream Harbour's gossip at all costs. So I guess it's about a farmer and now the new owner of this little um, pumpkin spice cafe. And I'm guessing it's going to be like a little rom-com, but all at this time. Look at the colours. And then this one is about when the secret message turns up at hidden in a bookshop in the cinnamon bun store. Hayes who can't understand that more secret codes appear between the pages and decides to follow the trail for clues. Oh, very interesting. Um, gorgeous outgoing fisherman. So this is about the owner or the person who's in the cinnamon bookstore then meets a fisherman. So very similar, but I'm guessing they're going to be different. So, and I think there's a third one coming out for Christmas as well. So I'll leave these both linked below if you're either looking for a read or you know someone that reads and you think that would be a cute little gift. Because, yeah, I'm excited to read these. I'm going on a little trip soon, so I'm thinking, do I take do I take both of these? But then I also want to be at home because I feel like I feel like at the you know like autumn oh, just sitting reading for a hot chocolate. Oh my god, gorgeous. And I don't know if you are a reader, but I've only started reading like in the last couple of months and I've been really, really getting into it. And I love physical books. I prefer the actual physical copy to Kindle. I've got a Kindle as well, but I don't know. I just don't think you can beat an actual physical book. So if you are into books and stuff and that's something you would like me to talk a little bit more about, let me know. But for me, I just think, especially as we get into this time of year, and if you've got any autumnal recommendations on books, please pop them in the comments for me because I am looking for lots of recommendations for this time of year and then also for one another. So if you're looking for books, have a little look through the comments and, and just share your, your book recommendations to one another because we can all have a wee read together. But like I say, these are my next two reads. So I'm going to head to Costco now. I want to see what's in. I love looking in the middle aisle at all the homeware bits that they get in. They normally have good bits and bobs that fly in throughout the year so I want to go and have a wee look. I've not done that in a while and see if there is anything worth picking up. So I'll take you along and then we'll spend the next couple of days together. So let's go and see what we can find. Yeah. The TVs. 
Don't they look so good? Uh, I want a new DB. It's not a good price. Look at the quality of that. For 65 inch. But they're so down. <laughs> that one is a little shark. A little shark handheld. We've got loads of coffee machines. Nespresso. We've got all of these. And then your more bougie ones. <gasps> I need a new coffee machine. Okay, so they. Oh yeah, this the stone ones. They are nice, aren't they? Oh yeah. They're pretty, they're my favourite. Mm -hmm. They're nice, aren't they? Like these. This and this? Yeah. Oh. Love it. I want that. Get in. Regis's plastic bottles. That's what we want. Doing our bit. This table, I love the colour. That's a nice colour, isn't it? Price. So the good stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? That is stunning. Do we like that? Do you love it? Quid. That's a good size. That's bigger than mine. That's you know the one I got from my dining room? Yeah, mine's two by three. So it's a little bit. Yeah, so it's a bit bigger. They would be good for your under your bed and stuff. That's what I'm thinking for underneath my bed. I love that. I've got a couple of different ones. Okay. This olive tree, the biro one. It's stunning, is that with the pot? I put some moss on top. And they are so nice. Imagine them just outside your front or back door. They would probably be great out my back, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd be they'd be amazing on your front. Yeah, that pot. That's worth it, though. No. No, no, no. Look at that. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna make better decisions in life, and then I see a bit of cake, and I'm like, oh, hello. If you're Scottish, you will know. About slice, stroke, square sausage. <gasps> I think I need to get myself some. <gasps> what am I going to have for my tea? Look at that. They're coming home with me. If you're into wine, there's my book from in here. And I've also got this one as well. We've got the white Tom Ford. I've actually got quite a few. And then them ones. They ha Bless you. They have lots of towels. If you're looking for towels, good prices. They are. How pretty they are. Sorry. Hi, I have just got back and I got a couple of little bits so I thought I would show you some of the bits and bobs that I have just bought. Starting, I got one of these Brita Filter water jugs. I have been meaning to get one of these for a while because I don't drink tap water and I, well, I tend to drink sparkling water, but I want to do my bit and I feel like a lot of sparkling water will come in bottles. So I was thinking if I, I don't know what people do, so let me know in the comments if you've got one of these or what you do to get your water fresh. I was thinking about boiling some water, letting it cool down, putting it through the filter, making sure it's fresh, then putting it in the fridge. And then I was thinking about getting a soda stream to then make the water sparkling and then I would then have my sparkling water in 
uh, a reusable like water jug or whatever it would be. So that's where my head's at. Let me know what your thoughts are. This one here, I'll open it now. This is the three, 3.6 litres. So, and it tells you on it exactly what to do. But I just want to show you the size so you can get a feel. And it also has a little light on top. So it's like a traffic light system. It tells you when you need to replace your filter which I think is pretty neat so that you don't have to try and figure that out yourself. That'll go in there. That, that little part. When it comes with a filter. And I'll have a little look at this one on Amazon and if they sell it, I'll leave it linked below. Amazon sell everything, don't they? But yeah, so it's quite a big jug. You just put that in, you put your filter in there, and then you've got that for the top, and that'll just go in my, you know, the little tray where you put your milk and stuff. And it'll be freezing cold water, and then I can put that through my, I can put it through my soda stream that I don't have yet, but I'm gonna buy one tonight. I'll get one ordered. Yeah, I think that's just better for, all around better for the environment. Like I'm doing my bit a little bit, but let me know, like, your thoughts and stuff, because, I'm new to this, so yeah. Please let me know. I also bought some filters. I think my friend said the filters last a few weeks each, so, and this is another six, so that should get me through a period of time. If you're from Scotland, you will know Slice is just the best thing in the entire world, and you cannot get it really many places here. In England, unless anybody knows of anywhere to get it, I've never seen it anywhere in any of the supermarkets or anything that I go to. So when I go to Costco, I'll tend to get it. I'll pop it in just freezer bags. I'll put a couple in a freezer bag and just freeze them all separately. And then when I fancy some, I will take it out and, and I tend to enjoy it maybe on a Saturday morning when I'm just having a day at home. And it's a real home comfort. Maybe anyone who's moved away from home and you've got that one thing that reminds you of home, particularly with food or anything else really, but particularly with food, I love it when I get the taste of Scotland. Like, honestly, it just makes me really happy and sort of takes me back. So, I love that. I will, like I say, get that froze and I'll enjoy it. Um, Dow Egg Burps coffee. It's the coffee that I drink. So, when I go there, this big jar tends to be a bit cheaper than what it is in supermarkets, so I'll pick it up uh, and that'll last me, because I live alone, I only have one coffee a day, so it'll last me a long time. But if you watch me, you know I love my washing smelling. Incredible. These Unstoppables are my favourite ones. They're cheaper in Costco, so I tend to pick up, most times that I go, I'll just pick one up, because I... I save these up like they're going out of fashion. I'll just have loads of them in the kitchen. Like, I'll have loads of them stored out because I've got a mad fear of running out. And they smell so good. So yeah, I've got loads of them already stored, but while I was there, I thought I'd pick them up. And my friend had said she had got these. They're like sorbet ice poles. And they're only 33 calories per one. Then they're also gluten-free. Let me just open them. Obviously, they won't be frozen. But let me show you one looks like because I actually don't know yeah so they're, they're that size pineapple flavour I will love that and I am and you get 60 in the box and I am a lover of ice poles in general so the fact that these are only 33 calories you've got blood orange and ginger mango pineapple blueberry and honey so I'm actually looking forward to trying some of them so and I can enjoy myself a wee ice pole, just sometimes of a night when you just need a... And I've not tried the sorbet one, so I will keep you posted on how I get on with them. I'll freeze them up now, and while I'm filming tomorrow, I'll definitely have one. And... and I'll let you know how I got on with them. But yeah. So, now, tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a wee bit of a chill, a clean up, just get this house in order. Thursday when I'm filming this, so I've been busy all week, so I'm really excited to just, like, get this house in order and get ready for a nice, chill, relaxed 
weekend. What are you guys been up to? If you've been up to anything, let me know in the comments because I love, as you'll know, I'll go through all the comments. I'll reply to you guys because it just makes me so happy. I have had the best idea for my house that I've had in such a long time. I sat last night and I was planning it and I was so excited, but I'll get to that in a little bit. I need to go and get coffee and then I want to go to HomeSense because we know when we've got a bit of a chill day, it's time to get up and go to HomeSense and see what they've got in. So that's what I'm just about to do. I'm not looking for anything in particular today. I just want to have a cute little morning. I've got a delivery coming for Amazon, so I almost need to make sure that I am home for that. So we've not confirmed what time it is yet, but it's literally, Home Sense isn't even opened yet. It's like eight o'clock, half eight. So I'm like, let me go grab coffee, go there for when it opens. I think it opens at nine o'clock. Have a little wander around see what what's going on and then I'll, hopefully i'll have a time slot and then if i've got a little bit more time while i'm out i could nip to john lewis uh that would be good but yeah we'll see what happens but yeah i am i don't know if starbucks have got their i don't know if any of the coffee shops have got out like their autumn range yet for drinks so because i've not had one that sun is bright uh, so I want to have a little look to see if they've got anything in like that. If not, I'll probably just go for a trusty caramel latte. You know, we know that's what we do around here. And then I will... And then we'll go to Home Sense together and pray for me that I find some amazing homeware stuff because I really need it. Hi, can I have a large pumpkin spice latte, please? Can you okay with the cream on top? Uh, no, I won't have any of that, thank you. I have just pulled up to Hobbs Ends and I got myself a spice pumpkin latte and it tastes incredible, like... Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, let's head in and hopefully we can find some goodies, but is there a better feeling in the world? Yeah, there probably is, but you know what I mean? Getting up early, having a coffee, going to Home Sense, seeing what's new in, just having a little browse. I'm, go I'm gonna have a cutest little time. Send me the good energy to be finding the goodies. And look at that sky. It is beautiful out today. It would just make it more beautiful if I can find gorgeous things. Yay! Look at that. On that stand. How pretty. This is all like springy stuff. Like more summer spring. Which we're still technically in. But I'm here. Oh that sofa's nice. But I'm here for the autumn stuff. I'm springing summer out. I'm ready for the good stuff. I am at the candle section. Oh, I love this time of year. I do love these. This isn't me. It's not my style, but it's not me, but it's pretty cool. I like these. These are very picky. You know the brand? I think they're pretty cool. Got one a few different colours. Oh! I've not seen any of these yet this year. And I'm not really a pumpkin guy, but I think that could be cute on my fire. Because I've got a few of them. I need to get one of them. They're only £10.99. Come on, you're coming with me. These are pretty cool. Look at those shades. <laughs> They'd be nice in a hallway or something.
things from home since it was such a cute little morning like just walking around there I took my time I went up and down the aisles a few times you know one of them just real slow paced mornings and yeah that made me happy just with my coffee and I got like I say I got a couple of things so I got doesn't this look very 90s does anyone ever remember this like I don't know just like that shiny brownness I don't know it just takes me back to a certain point and I saw this and I was like I need that vase so this was 12 99 and I'm thinking I love this little vase that I got last time from HomeSense but it kind of bugs me that I can see the stems there so I'm thinking I wondered if I was to put them in that would that work I don't know but I'll have a play around in a bit and then you would have seen, I've not seen these this year yet in HomeSense. This was the first trip that I've had where they've had like the wicker pumpkins. And I did say I'm not the biggest person in terms of pumpkin stuff in my house. But I just adored it, I'm not going to lie. It's got these little metal leaves on look, and they're like rusty. How cute is that? As soon as I seen it, that was only 9 99 As soon as I seen it, I was like, yeah, I think that's definitely something that I need. So... I don't know where I'm going to put it. I was thinking fireplace, console table, it'll go somewhere. But yeah, I was also looking when I was editing my last vlog where I had gone to HomeSense, I had seen this glass pumpkin and it was like a burnt, it was like a burnt orange, but like more a deeper orange. And I wanted that this time and I couldn't find it, which made me really sad. So I... I couldn't find any glass ones, but I love this as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, no. A couple of things that I got, I'm still waiting on my Amazon delivery, so luckily it's not tried to be delivered yet, so I'm home, I'm going to have a little chilled bit, and then I will talk to you about some of the ideas that I've got for the house. <sighs> I'm just having the cutest, honestly. But I need to sort this house out because my washing's piling up, I've got stuff from when I went to Costco, I need to just get this place all clear, so I'm going to down tools for a wee hour, bit of YouTube on, and then I'm going to get this place sorted, and then I'll show you what I got from Amazon, and I'll talk to you a little bit about some of my ideas. Just been chilling for a little bit and now I have got a couple of Amazon parcels being delivered uh, that I've been waiting on so I'm excited for this and there's so I thought I would show you what I got this first one have my iced coffees from home quite a lot. I'll know sometimes I will like go to Starbucks or whatever, but I don't do that as often. I saw these little iced coffee cups, and you'll know, if you know me, you know I've got quite a lot of them. I love to have different ones to drink from, but I saw these and I thought they were super cute, and would go with my aesthetic very well. So it's like this brown, like amber style glass. It comes with a little glass straw as well. And I, it comes in a pack of two, exactly the same. So just have it as a normal glass if you wanted, or you could have it with the lid and the straw. I just thought they were great. They'd be a great little gift, or if you just obviously wanted them for yourself like me. I'll leave these linked below, these exact ones that I got. I think they're gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have my iced coffee in that tomorrow morning. I'm gonna sit on the sofa. And it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I saw these and I was like, these are very much up my street. Then, the second parcel that I've got. So, I'm going to see my dad very soon. He lives in America. He's from America. And when I last went over to see him about eight months ago, 
I left my headphones there. Now, because I'm going back again, I was like, well, I'll just get them when I'm there. But I've also, I also got them about six years ago, maybe even a little bit more. So I treated myself some new headphones because I've been looking for a little bit of time. And these actually went on sale. They were down from 350 and I got them for 140 so I thought that was a massive bargain. So I'll leave these linked below. Hopefully they're still on sale by the time this video goes live. I'll leave the link for you to check them out. But let me show you how nice they are. Because my last ones were just plain black. When I buy something like this, I will do a lot of research. When you're spending a bit of money on something, I can't... Oh. When you're spending a bit of money on something, I don't like it when it's just, you know, if I just did it without knowing the quality, etc. So, the reviews and stuff were amazing on this. These are the Beach Studio Wireless headphones. Oh. And it comes with a cute travel case, which will be perfect for me. Going to my dad's. And they fold out. They fold out. So they come and they are, like, obviously that's good for travelling, anything like that, which is brilliant. And they're like this dark grey, almost black, so you can see the difference from my jumper there to the colour, which I actually love. And then it's got the gold detailing, because I am standard, I would normally just go for black. And they had these in black, and they were actually the same price, but I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go for a little something a little bit different to what I normally would go for. And then it's got the, like you see, it's got the gold there and then it's got the gold beat sign, also in gold. And then over here, it's got, the, well it's got a sticker on it at the minute, let me, let me do the peel off. <laughs> and then it's got, yeah, so it's just got the same on either end. It's charged me up, so I'll give it a charge before I, I use them. But yeah, and then it's got the cream lining on the inside which I just thought was very different especially for anything that I would normally go for so yes I thought that was a great deal so I'll leave these that was backwards by the way that's the right way <laughs> so I'll leave these linked below if you are looking for some new headphones for yourself yes yeah, so I'll link them below get yourself a deal I hope 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 that they are still on offer a great christmas present as well if you are if you got someone but yeah they i love the fact that the fold in my last ones didn't do that and like i say they were like six years old so i used to have to put them in a case like that so getting them into my backpack and stuff as i was traveling was a bit of a pain so the fact that these go into that and then the case is much smaller than my other case so that'd be perfect and then i'll also get the ones from my dad's um, and I'll give them to my niece or nephew or someone because they'll make use of them because they are still fine. But yeah, I, I, it's just about time I had some new ones. This box, is this where all the charger is? Let me show you what it comes with. Oh yeah, so you've got like your little clip for your carry-on case. They're great, you know, if you're, if you just want to clip the, clip it to your actual bag rather than putting it in your bag. That would just go like that, and then some people just clip that onto their backpack or whatever. Which would be cool, and then it also comes with... You can also make calls through these, which you couldn't on my other one, so that would be good for taking work calls or, you know, whatever. And 10 minutes charge of it gets you 3 plus hours of play, which is amazing. So I'm going to charge them up, and I'll, like I say, I'll test them out. And have a go and then I also I've just been meaning to get myself something this is not that exciting if I'm honest but especially because I'm traveling but also I've been meaning to get myself like you know a little nail set like just to sort of look after my nails they all need cutting stuff now but I was just like I thought that was great that was eight pound nine pound so I'll leave this exact one link below I love that because it had the contrast on but again really good for traveling just throw that in your bag especially because I'm going away for two weeks so that'll be perfect for me to have but I'll leave this exact one again linked below a great little gift 
or if you're just treating yourself like me. Well, I mean, I will not have a clue. I'm not gonna lie to you what half this stuff is for nail clippers. And if you can see, they're actually like, would you say a dark gray stroke black? So they're actually quite nice. But yeah, a lot of that stuff, I probably would just be like, mm, let's not do that. But yeah, it's got like cuticle cutters and stuff. So, I mean, that one looks like a bit of a saw. But yeah. <laughs> So I, that was just a little haul, that was just a couple of little bits that I had bought that uh, I've been meaning to buy, or particularly the headphones, I needed to get myself some new ones, so I'm going to get all this put away and then I'm just going to start getting ready, what time is it? It's actually only one o'clock and it feels much later, I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's because I got up so early and went out and got loads of bits and bobs done. I got all this cleaned up, I've got a washing in, I'm going to get that in the tumble dryer. So, the idea that I've had for my house is to do with my gallery wall. So, you'll know I love this and it's one of my favourite areas of my house. But I've been struggling to find artwork and stuff to put in it. So you can see these are just some ones that I had from before. I've now put the, if you've seen my last vlog, I've put the inserts in. So, so you can see that it actually has that now. So I just need to find artwork for this size for each of them. And as you can see, I have got a lot. But this was just a little picture from Decenio. And these are really pretty. But what I was thinking is I don't want to just fill it with things like that. Because... I, it, it's just not necessarily, it's not what I'm going for here. And then this little bit here, I was thinking, oh, I could make some of these, which would be cool, and it would look pretty. But it, again, it's just not what I want. So, let me talk to you about my idea. Let's go downstairs, and I can show you a little bit more on my phone as well. I'm sorry I look a little bit chaotic. I have been cleaning and stuff. And, but I needed to come on and talk to you about my idea and what I've been thinking. So, for the gallery wall, like I said, I've, cut, I've gone back into with a lot of different ideas over the last maybe month or two and nothing's just hitting the nail on the head with it. I've just not found that thing that I've gone, that's it. And so it was yesterday and I was having a little thing and I was like, right, how do I make it really personal? Because I'm not the type of person who has like photos of me and my friends and me and my family and all that sort of stuff around the house. I've just never been that person. And I didn't want to put that up there neither. I also wanted to create something that is really personal to me in that gallery wall. So I was thinking, what could that be without having pictures of me and my nieces and nephews and my brothers and sisters and my best friends and all that good stuff? and something just come to me and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm thinking is that I want the closest people to me to send me a picture that they've taken of maybe a landscape, maybe in a city centre, maybe of a tree, of a sunset, of something that they've seen with their own eyes that they thought was beautiful at the time. They've took a picture of it and that's something that is really personal to them that they loved and I want that to put on my wall. So I'm gonna get all the closest people to me. I went into my siblings group last night and I had said to them, please send me a picture if you've got one. If you've not got one, can you please make time over the next couple of weeks to, when you see something beautiful, please take a picture of it because I would love to print it out and put it on my gallery wall. And I messaged some of my best friends to say, please do that, because that's what I would want. I've not finished yet. I've still got more people to message and stuff to get it all done. But I thought, let me start to see what was coming through. And I was shocked. Like, my brother goes on a lot of long runs and stuff. And he had been taking pictures when he had been out on long runs. And I was just, like, speechless when he was sending some of these pictures that he loved and that meant a lot to him. I've started creating an album in my phone for my gallery wall. I'll do them up close in a little minute, some of them so that you can see. But, like, let me just try and show you this. So this just shows how beautiful Scotland is. Like, it is such a beautiful country. So, I don't know if you can see that. Like, look how amazing that is. That's when he was out on a run and he seen the sunset and took a picture. And I was just like, I don't know if you see this one on screen very well, but it, it was it rains in Scotland a lot, as a lot of you may know. I don't know if you can see the rain on that, but how beautiful is that? And these are all unedited. 
This is one that my friend sent me. How amazing is that? And here was like a random picture that my friend had seen and just thought was beautiful and I thought that's so different. Like, this was another one that my brother had taken. Like, wow, that's Scotland. Ah. Oh. So, I've got lots of pictures. My friend was in Canada as well. She took this one when she was there. So, and then this was one I took of, this is a lighthouse back at home and I was just sat one day and took a picture of a lighthouse. I thought that would be nice there as well. So all things that we've all seen and there's a lot more so I just need to wait on more to come through and like I say I need to contact other people. But how beautiful is that gallery wall going to be? And then when I see the people I'm going to get them to write a little message on the back and sign it. And then when I see that, I know that that's beauty that they've seen through their eyes. And I just thought, what a great way to bring to life that gallery wall because I just wanted it to be personal. I wanted it to, I wanted to feel something when I looked at it. And I think by doing that, it's such a beautiful little thing. So if you're looking for an idea, maybe that could be something that you could do even if you've got a smaller version of that or, you know, maybe you've got a couple of photo frames around the house that you think, I don't know what to put in it. Maybe just get the closest people to you to send either a picture that they've already taken or get them to go out and do it. I've already, some of my other friends and family have been saying that they're going out this weekend and they're going to have a little look at what they can take pictures of and other people are getting excited to go and do it to send it on to me. So... I am so, so excited to start getting these pictures printed. I might go tomorrow and start to get the, get the printouts of the ones that I've already got. I didn't even know that about my brother, that he took pictures like that. He's like, I just take it when I'm out and I see something beautiful, he'll just grab a picture. And he did say sometimes it's an excuse to stop running for a second. <laughs> but I, oh, I was just like, wow, how amazing that all that stuff was sat there and could be perfect on my little gallery wall. So what a great way for me. I don't know how it come to me, but I was just thinking I need it to be special. And I think that'll be special to me. So I, at first I was going to do them all in black and white, but when they started sending me the pictures, I was like, wow, no, they need to be unedited. They just need to be like that and straight on that gallery wall. So I need to find somewhere that can print them all out and I'm going to get an order put in and get that done as soon as possible. So if you don't want to miss that, please push that subscribe button. <laughs> but I am going to finish this video off here. I hope you liked it. I hope it's been a good one for you. I've really had the cutest couple of days. I'm picking the camera up again. First thing tomorrow, I'm vlogging, getting another one up for you. So... I, like I say, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up on it, so that really does help my channel. If you made it this far, thank you, because <laughs> I know these vlogs can sometimes be a little bit long, and some of you are, well, you guys are loving that, you were telling me that you're loving it. Thank you so much, and I will speak to you in my next video.